So all that HTMX fun is not going to do us any good if we don't actually have any filtering capabilities within our anonymous JS server. So in terms of our filters, what we're going to want to pay attention to within our index method is the actual query string. So what we want to do is grab the request and then off of the request, we can grab our query string parameters. Let's go ahead and destructure it from request.qs. Within the query string itself, we're just going to have those form fields that we're going to post from our post filters form. Within this form, we have a pattern, a post type ID, and an order by field. So those are the three things we're going to want to destructure out of our query string. Let's go ahead and grab our pattern, post type ID, and our order by out of our query string. And now within our post query, we just need to account for each of those three. So we can do dot if pattern. So if we have a pattern, then we want to apply that pattern to our query. So we do query dot where, and then let's go and use the I like. So this is going to do a case insensitive like statement. Let's do that on the title. We're gonna want percent at the start. That's gonna match for the term with anything prior to the string. Let's inject the actual pattern into the string in itself. And then let's also do percent after the pattern as well. So this is going to search for the title with anything before and after the pattern. So we only care that the pattern's somewhere in the string. Next for a post type ID, we can do the same thing. So if post type ID, we'll apply a query, query dot where, and then we can just dump that post type ID directly in there. Lastly, with our order by, so if order by query, query dot order by, and let's stop here for a second and actually take a look at how we have these defined. So we have the actual key that we want to order by, an underscore, and then the order that we want to order the field by. So we have title ascending, and title descending as well as post type ascending. The underscore here just serves as a URL safe delimiter. Uh, you could really use whatever you'd like here, uh, tilde, something of the sort. Uh, here, we're just making it easy on ourselves using the underscore, which is URL safe. So within the actual controller, we're gonna need to alter the order by to split those two apart. So we can actually cut this order by that we have so far out, turn this into a blocked function with curly braces, const key and direction equals order by dot split that underscore. And then we can go ahead and paste back in our query dot order by, provide the key and then provide the direction just like so. And now our index method should be able to handle our filters. So let's go ahead and give this a save, jump back into our browser. So at this point, we don't actually have our form rigged up. So we're going to want to jump up to the URL bar in itself and just apply the query strings directly. So I see Delore here as our first result. So let's go ahead and give a search for a pattern equals Delore. Hit enter there. And you can see the second result did change. We have Delore here still within the first, Delore there somewhere within the string there. So it seems to be working. Now we have an article lesson and blog as the first three. So let's go ahead and apply a post type ID equals, and let's do two. And there, now we are restricted down to just blog. We can switch that to one and there's our articles. And then we can also alter the sort. So let's do and order by equals, and let's do title descending. And there we go. So now we got Totem as the start there and still Delore somewhere within the string. Awesome. So now we have the basis of a filter system set up. So now we just need to actually implement it within the form using HTMX and get things going from there. So we'll be focusing on that in the next lesson.